Yasmin, we're approaching Groundhog's Day, and while the world waits to see if Puxatani Phil will see his shadow on Thursday, Honolulu City leaders are using the day as inspiration for future leaders of Hawaii. And joining us now with details of the National Groundhog Shadow Day is Diane Ward. She's the president of Junior Achievement Hawaii. Good morning, Diane. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. So I know you're getting ready for this big day with yes. the city, and all of these high schoolers are going to be able to shadow city leaders, uh, firefighters, and all sorts exactly, of people from the city, Exactly, exactly. Right? We're real excited. We've had traditionally, uh, Groundhog Day is an, an, an annual event for us at Junior Achievement nationwide where we do have job shadows and we have children that will go, youth, um, high schoolers that will go into the different businesses. But this is the first time we've had close to 200 at one place, one time, and, and truly dissecting the different um, entities of the city, and we're real excited about that. Wow, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, So what exactly is Junior Achievement? Because I know it's been around for a long time. Long time, in the early 1900s, um, and then now in Hawaii, we've been here since 1957. So it's it's truly it's we empower our youth to own their own ec economic success. So what we do is we teach them about truly entrepreneurship and then financial um, you know we financial literacy and we work with them on anything that they would need to know when they graduate. There are a lot of things that. Um, you know, they like balancing a checkbook uh -huh. and you know credit cards, what to do and and uh, fraud and all of that kind of thing. Yeah, so. I used to do junior achievement in high school, and we had to make terrariums and yes. learn about the business of marketing and selling those things. I'm not sure I sold any terrariums. <laughs> I think my parents bought it, but I know the junior oh, achievement like has changed over the years. Absolutely, right? but we still do a lot of that. We still do that where they actually create an item or a project, and then they market it. They do the budgets. They do everything, and then they sell it, and then. They give back, so and we have a lot of that going on in the um, Big Island, right. and they're very successful. And they make money. So maybe we might see some future uh, city council members I or so. uh, city leaders I out of this, this group. Is be, I think this is going to be great because kids do not know what the city does, mm -hmm. and so this way they can they can go in there and work with them and shadow them. And the mayor will be there, of course, to welcome them and and say a little bit, you know, about. Uh, Junior, you know, just getting out there and being successful. Yeah. So it's not just being in the there. Also, we also that we teach them about dress and be mm -hmm. there on time, and you know, it's it's preparing them for their future jobs. Great life skills. All right, it Diane is. Ward from Junior Achievement Thank Hawaii. You so Thank you so much for yes. joining us. We might see a future mayor in that group. <laughs> Well, don't forget, if you'd like to see this interview again, you can head over to the morning section of our website, KITV.com. It is 646.